National Clean Out Your Fridge Day today. Yes, so that means today you're supposed to actually clean out your fridge. Could you imagine? I actually believe they actually made a, a thing of it, an actual day. But yeah, so anyway, I was like, cool, we got some content. So basically that's what we're doing today. So how many guys always have leftovers in your fridge and kind of get tired and bored of it, right? Well, we always do at this house because we always have a lot of food in this house, like overabundance of food because it's a family of six. And so we're always having leftovers. But cool thing is about Toastia, we're able to repurpose it. And you would ever think that some leftovers are actually really Toastia and actually pretty easy to eat with. Especially like if you want to make some dough and you're in the car trying to eat it. Like could you imagine trying to eat spaghetti in the car and like drive at the same time? Now you can. So check it out. So we're going to go in my fridge. It's not a perfect fridge inside of this guy. It's like your ordinary fridge. Got everything in it. I mean, we have everything in it. So, um, what we're going to do, um, I have some leftover spaghetti. And so, um, and we've been like eating it for days. It's been, it's almost down. And so what we're going to do is actually London, my daughter, loves this thing. She's been eating these spaghetti pockets for days. And so, I'm going to show you how to repurpose this guy. So, check it out. So we're going to get some spaghetti. we got some sausage in there. And, um... And it's, uh, we're going to put some Parmesan cheese in it. So check it out. Watch this. So hang in there, guys. Watch this. Check it out. See what you think. Because I want to see what you guys do with your leftovers. So what I do, take our good old toasty bracket, right? Put our flour for tea on there. Let's get it. Mix this together. Get some pasta. There we go. Get some pasta. Put it on the right in the middle. Okay. I'm going to put it. Put some in there. I know you guys probably think I'm crazy, right? This guy's put spaghetti on a flour tortilla. This guy's nuts. But honestly, it actually really is good. Well, of course you gotta put some sausage in there, right? Come on. Come on, you gotta put some sausage on there. You know, I have a friend of ours um, that actually, my wife does a good job with pasta, but I have to admit my friend uh, Greg actually makes a killer. Uh, spaghetti. He, I mean, he'll like spend like hours cooking it, and so he like does a killer job. So anyway, I just gotta give a shout out to Greg about, but it's not his pasta, but because he hasn't like called me up and go, hey man, like you want to come over and hang out and have dinner with us? No, he doesn't do that. So I gotta make my own pasta. So okay, so I'm already getting carried away, right? That's what I always do. I get carried. Okay, so we just put the, we put it in there. We're gonna fold it right up, simple and easy, and we fold it. Just like that, right? Right in the bracket. Put it right there, close to the bottom. Put it in there, depending on how thick it is, right? Put it right in the bracket. Hold it in place. Okay. And we're gonna put it in the toaster. Okay, but we're not gonna put it in yet because we're gonna figure out what else we could toast in here. Because we have a four slot toaster, because we are a big family. And so we're able to put a whole bunch of different things in there at the same time. Oh, guess what? But I forgot, and this is why we do live, okay? So there's no cut and paste. One thing we did forget about putting in there. <laughs> oh gosh, it's been a long day. It's Parmesan cheese. So we're gonna open it back up. <laughs> because you gotta have Parmesan cheese. I'm sorry. You gotta add the Parmesan cheese, right? Okay, like who doesn't love Parmesan cheese? Guess what? Like I said, we do this live. Okay, so we're gonna put it in here. Put it, lock it in the position. Okay, go right in there. Sometimes, okay, it's in, it's in there. It's just a nice big fat pocket. Okay, so that's in there. So we'll see what else we got. Um. Oh, you know what? Adriana, it's like our kid's second mom. She makes like the best beans and rice. And so that's one cool thing we have left over in here. Look at that. Wow, well, she makes some good Mexican rice. That's always killer. And I think we have, some, oh yeah. Look, I think we have oh, a little, some leftover beans in there. So we're gonna use that, okay. And we're gonna also get some cheese. Gotta have cheese, right? So we are going to get another bracket. Open it up. Put our tortilla on there. 
And I think we're gonna start off with some beans first because I'm gonna smear it on the bottom of the tortilla. So, have you guys cleaned out your fridge today? You guys should, right? Because you never know. If you guys don't know what you guys want for dinner, your kids are going, Mom, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. And you guys don't know what to give them? You got to do this. This will make it so much easier for you. Okay. So we got that. And we're going to put some rice on here. All right. Got to love this mix, right? Super quick and easy. All right. Okay. And of course, some cheese. So how are you guys' days been? Today's Wednesday, so we're almost there, halfway through the week. You know, it's been busy for us. Actually, it's been really busy for us. Um, we're really excited, actually. There's something that happened for us uh, the other day, and we actually, I actually went to a local Ace Hardware store um, and they own like four up, four other ones, and they I show them the product, and I let them take one home, and use it, and sounds like they lo they loved it, and so they are ready to go for. It. They actually already um, did a PO. They already or placed an order for a case of tostillas to try out in their stores, um, and so yeah, so we landed an Ace Hardware, and she's really excited about it. So she's actually said she's going to talk to corporate about it too. So we're super stoked about that. Okay, so that's what's been happening for us. So we've been busy with so many different things, so um, which is really cool. So right now, we just put in the um, beans and cheese and rice, tostilla pocket, and a, um, a uh, spaghetti sausage and Parmesan cheese. So we locked it down. Okay, I'm going to sit it at defrost, because what defrost does, I don't know if you guys know that, but it extends your cooking time or whatever you have it set at. So, so it's at seven. I have that the highest setting, and it's just gonna extend just a little bit, not a lot, but it does a bit, you know. Um, so here's another question I I uh, have asked, been asked about, and it's um, can you grill do you grill cheese in your in the tostilla? And yes, you can. Okay, um, and I will show you how to make a grilled cheese in your toaster. It is super easy, and you guys are going to love it, okay? Actually, my assistant videographer is Tegan, and she's manning the camera right now, and she's going to hand me the bread. So, this bread I'm particularly using is called uh, Bimbo, and they make a um, they make good, it's good bread. It's good white bread. Um, it's, a, it's a, it's, what I like about it is that it's, it's kind of a thin slice, you know, it's not thick. Um, it's just kind of thin. It's a good size. I mean, you know, it fits right on the right in the bracket. Um, and you could do this too if you want to, but you don't have to. You know, if you want to cut down calories and you know make it a little bit healthier, you can. You, you could brush a little bit of butter on there. Um, it'll get the bracket a little bit, you know, dirty, but eh, it's not that bad. Um, or you could just do it just straight by itself. Um, I'm gonna grab some cheese. And so what we like to use. I like to use just the uh, uh, sliced cheese, um, and I like to use about um, two slices of cheese in here. And so you guys are probably asking me or wondering, like, or, okay, so like, won't the cheese drip out? It might, but it might not. And let me tell you why it doesn't. Um, unless you don't, you know, it's just pretty simple. What what ha what happens is with tostilla is you know when, when it squeezes in the bracket, it squeezes the bread kind of tight, right? And so what it does is it keeps it it kind of adds a little seal at the bottom of the bread so it doesn't leak down. So what I do is I take two slices, put it right there, right? Just a little bit of above the crust line right there, I put it right there. Pretty simple. You know, you know, don't go all the way down. Just keep it right there above the crust line, right? And then I just take the other one. And I put it right there. So what it does when I push this all at the bottom, I take it and I fold it like that. See how it, now it's going to keep it nice and like, it's almost like a panini. Basically, it's like a panini in your toaster. And it keeps it locked in just like that. Okay. And so it, it keeps it nice and tight. And so you just put it right in your toaster. Just the setting you want. And then, um, so I'll just keep this right there and then 
there you go. You have yourself a grilled cheese in a second. So, um, and you know, like it does stuff, stuff might leak sometimes here and there. And it's not bad because what happens is there's, well, they call them a crumb tray, but Toasty likes to call them a drip tray. Um, you just slide out the tray, either it's in the front or the back. On this particular model, it's in the, in the back. So you just slide it out, take it, either rinse it off in your sink or just take a napkin, it comes right off. It's very easy to clean off. Um, and so yeah, so that's on that one. Um, so what we'll, so what I want to do is I want to show you what these look like inside and tell you how, I mean, they're super hot, they're super warm. Like a toaster gets like about 550 some degrees inside, you know, roughly around there. So, I mean, you're getting like this consistent heat, like just heat on both sides of, of your grilled cheese, your tostilla pocket, or even your corn tortilla, which is pretty cool. So, um, yeah, it's like the perfect oven. I mean, honestly, people forget like these toasters are not, you know, they work so well as not just a toaster. I mean, to do anything. So that is in there right now. Um, yeah, shoot me, like, tell me what you guys want to try. I could always love to do a live thing about it. Oh, and I want to say one thing. We did this, uh, the other day we did this, it was like a contest about, you know, show me what you guys could do with your tostilla pocket, uh, with your brackets when you got from the Kickstarter campaign we did, um, and all you guys that got them. And you guys actually showed us that you guys did a couple cool things out of them. And there's two people that really were showing, like, like, cool content about it. And it was, um... Uh, Jess, Jessie gave us some really cool pictures, and so she won on uh, a contest we did to give her. So we gave her some merch, some like we're gonna give her some stickers, uh, some cool hat, uh, cool shirts, and uh, this a pretty neat backpack. You know, uh, we're gonna put all that stuff in there and give it to her. And then uh, Lori also was also like was there from the beginning. Actually, uh, she like helped us. Like she actually was one of the ones that actually got her first prototypes, and she like used it all the time so we uh definitely hooking her up with that too so thank you guys so much for uh doing the pictures and i love them I, it really means a lot i i love knowing that our product um is in your home and you guys are using it for your everyday use so i love it thank you so much and keep showing pictures um okay so this guy just popped out so this is your um your uh spaghetti so it's gonna be hot it's going to be hot. So I'm going to just pull it apart and show you guys. I don't know if, let's see if you guys can see that. Oh, it's hot. But there is, you can, I don't know if you can see the steam coming out of there. Probably not because it's kind of dark, but there's steam in there. It's hot. And you can see the Parmesan cheese in there. It's melted. And it's, I mean, this is super delicious. And if you guys want like a little bit crispier, um, sometimes you just do another, just push it down one more time and you get the outside a little bit crispier. Some toasters, just don't crisp up as much as others it's just kind of hit or miss um but yeah so this is really warm and, and and just super good i mean look at that oh i can totally eat this but i <sighs> look at that. there's a sausage in there oh it's hot yeah so that is this one i just totally like devoured but it's so cool because if i didn't rip it apart you're able to just eat it like that and just while you're eating on the go or on the run and so that is delish i love it um and then we got the other one is the beans, rice, and cheese from Adriana, which is really good. So here's this guy right here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Look at... Holy cow. Look at that. Tell me that does not look good. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Holy cow. Yum. I really want to take a bite. But I gotta keep professional. So I'm gonna eat that later. Okay, so that's that, right? Yum. Okay, so grilled cheese time. So some toes are different. You'll find out. This one, ooh, see, this one went a little bit, I set it too high on the setting on this one. Probably don't want it that crispy on the outside. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know. Depends on you, right? Ooh, that's hot though. But there it is, right? Grilled cheese. Look at that. Look at the cheese in there. See with the bottom? Perfect. See tight. Let's see what it looks. Let's see what it looks like. Holy cow. Tell me that's not cool. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Totally melted in there. Yummy. Okay. I know I was gonna say I was gonna keep it classy, keep it professional. 
But I'm sorry, how do you not say you want a bite of this nice yummy cheese? Oh, guys, I'm gonna do it. Should I do it? Yeah, I know, right? Mmm, it's crispy. It's, yeah. So, yes, you can do grilled cheeses in your toaster. Mmm, put some ham in there. Yeah, perfect. So, if you want it not as crispy, just drop it down a little bit. But for me, it's perfect. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I love it. So that's it, guys. Um, so, yes. So if you guys don't know what to do when you guys need to clean out your fridge and with your leftovers, and you just want tired of heating it back up the next couple days because I hate leftovers, and I've gotten better by eating leftovers, but this just totally kicked it up a notch. Just made it so much better to be able to just put it back in a tortilla, put it in the bracket, put it in your toaster. Look at that. No dirty dishes. Don't have to heat up a pan. All your shit, you're done. So, thank you so much for watching this. Give me some feedback. Thank you guys. See you soon. Bye.